Uh, we're uh, from FAU, Florida Atlantic University, Ocean Engineering Department. Uh, we built a human-powered submarine for an international race up in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, we leave this Friday. Uh, the biggest thing is you look at it, and obviously it's not surfaced or finished or anything like that. It's pretty much raw product. And um, we're basically just doing some testing trials, testing the propulsion and the steering and everything, making sure it's ready to go. Uh, still got some small tweaking to do, but she's ready to fly. Well, it's got a gearbox inside of it, and we pedal it like an underwater bicycle. And uh, we have a little porthole on the bottom so we can follow a light strip on the bottom of our race tank. And what do these do? They move the bow of the sub up and down. And how about this uh, contraption right here? These fairings right here counteract the moment of the uh, propeller. So when it's spinning, the body wants to roll one direction. These counteract that. And also, if the sub isn't so trimmed, we stabilize it so it's level through the water. I need the ratchet These top and bottom pieces are our rudders. They're designed to keep it out, keep it above the hull line, out of the turbulence. All right, so this is completely human powered. Yeah, it has to be direct drive. There can't be any stored energy, any flywheels or pressurized gas. Um, we're a club from FAU. Uh, we have a biannual race, and we're all. Ocean engineers, except for our other pilot here, is one of one of the mechanical engineers. No mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's your budget for this thing? Around ten thousand dollars.
Well, the sub looked great. The only thing we found out, the steering's backwards, but all that means is you gotta know that before you start trying to steer it. <laughs> Besides that, goes up, turns real sharp, so we'll be, we'll be ready for the slalom race. Everything. We just, uh, you gotta get the buoyancy right because it's different in the salt water. And we had our buoyancy set for the pool, which is fresh, so. Absolutely successful run. We're doing this at the uh, Naval Surface Warfare Center in Bethesda, Maryland. And we're doing it in a basin tank where they test full-size ships, and the water is about 50 degrees. And we're about 15 to 20 feet underwater. Awesome. Now, I understand you have to have a security clearance. Is that true? Uh, yeah, we have to have special, special access. Now I know why you brought the girls. Somebody's got to get that submarine out of the water. Uh, going up to Maryland, hopefully uh, go up, break the speed record for, for this sub. I'm pretty sure the uh, last sub is uh, 6.7 knots for the one man. Hopefully go up there and uh, break, that, break that speed. I mean, that's pretty much past year and a half of effort we put into this sub is to go up there and do that. Plus have a good time, you know? Got to go up there and have a good time. Uh, technical stuff. <laughs> surface support. Surface support, good job. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.